yesterday's Ferrari at the St. George um, events um, indicated me how fundamentally divided this country has become. Sadly, it's not helped by the fact that the day also included a number of official events which were not very well publicised, including, if I share this... Let that move up. Here's the St. George's Day Parade, an official military parade, which I was looking at earlier, with cadets, members of the military, Sea Scouts, also an electoral commission advert. No, no reminding us to do the London Mayor event. No, thanks. Um, veterans, serving officers, etc., etc. Now, I'm sure some clever joker will probably be typing about those, though the, the ethnic composition of those bands and troops. And it was like, well, yeah, obviously, if you want people to defend the country, you attract them to defend it. Of course, you can go on about the start doing stupid comments about them. I bet they won't defend the country and all that. But the reality is many people from various ethnic backgrounds have defended the UK in the past and will be likely to do so again. Here we have a number of sailors marching. You can see a mixture of people from various ethnic groups, number of officers, petty officers, so on. You can easily do jokes about that, but compared to the silliness we saw at this, where we have grown men standing there with sort of flags draped around their shoulder, att attempting to obviously, obviously they didn't play a Batman or Superman enough as a kid. Do I support their right to protest that way? Sure. Do I think there are issues with immigration? Sure. Do I even think there are issues with two-tier policing and that, might, that do need to be addressed? Yes, indeed. There are some unfortunate signs and stuff that have carried up a protest for Palestine that have become repellent. And I do also agree there are many people who seem to be just supporting the martyrs for Palestine who really don't know a lot about the area and who just seem to be tagging along with it in a kind of way to collect likes on Facebook style. However, I don't really think that this is really a, a kind of a, a, an approach to pro um, protesting I really want to see in Britain where you have, you know, more of the uh, the Tommy Robinson style sort of wave a baggie around and shout, England till I die! It's not really what I consider the, the height of England's culture or England at its best it strikes me as more on the shouting if you if I want to be quite frank they could make their points in far more intelligent manners than that also you have the idea that sort of there's been put forward that suddenly oh no one will be able to fly the flag of St George anymore I don't know where that's coming from that seems to be kind of bizarre stuff based on the fact that we have Sadiq Khan as a mayor of London Sadiq Khan is a moment in British history. Give it a few years and there'll be someone else's mayor. Perhaps even after the 2nd of May, who knows? I, I doubt it. I think he'll probably end up being re-elected, but he is not Britain. He is not England. He is one man. Here's the St. George's Day event in Trafalgar Square that's been running quite happily for 17 years. Yeah, I saw none of the commentators going on about the horrors of uh, uh, of British culture being replaced or anything like that, mentioning any of this. They seem to think British culture is some static, unchangeable thing that never moves on and just always going about good old days. British culture is a mixture of new and old and things come and go. And recognising that's part of the strengths of being British, not a weakness... I don't want to live in a culture where we just pick on people because of their race or colour or start shouting them. 
And I don't want to think that that represents Britain at its finest. That, to me, is an ugly side of Britain and a nativist side that, well, it doesn't answer questions about immigration. All it does is creates more tensions. Pretending the questions don't exist is also a way to avoid them. But we can do better, and we can do better than commentators just stirring up hate and anger.